Hey guys, and welcome to another Factorio Mod Spotlight. I'm Exterminator, and thank you for joining me. Today we are going over expanded rocket payloads, and this is a brand new mod, just a couple days old, and it was brought to my attention on the Reddit, uh, where the dev posted it, and it looks super cool. So, I do want to give you a bit of a heads up and disclaimer. Um, this is not a walkthrough of the entire mod. This is a spotlight just to show you, in general, um, about the mod. This mod is contains a ton of stuff. It would make an extremely long and complicated video to go over every single little thing and actually demonstrate every single little thing. And I think it would take away from the immersion. Um, I think a lot of the interest uh, for you is going to be discovering this stuff on your own. Uh, but we will go over the general concept of this. So in a way, this is kind of like SpaceX mod, uh, but much more advanced. So this adds new satellites um, and types of stuff you can launch into space. Um, that will give you multiple things ranging from p extra power generation to huge amounts of resources that you're, uh, you know, mining on asteroids or whatever, um, as well as different types of science or even space science. Uh, so the mod portal contains a ton of info, uh, which I'm just going to read some of these bullet points uh, and kind of show you along in game here. So first off, the research. There's a lot of research and it's very expensive, uh, which is intentional. Uh, you know, just to show you, I mean, some of these aren't too expensive, 4,000, uh, you know, 20,000, there's, there's a couple in here, like this one, that's 100,000 for these space shuttles um, of all pack types here uh, and such. And then, you know, this one is 225,000 um, and all that. So, uh, basically, there's a lot of research. <laughs> um and then also there's new types of research. So part of what this allows you to do is launch um, some special things into space that will actually give you two new types of research. Um, one of them being station data and one of them being telescope data. And uh, some of these are to just unlock parts of the actual mod, but then some of them allow you to actually further unlock things for vanilla, like uh, stack inserter research um, with the station data actually allows you to um, research even higher amounts of stack inserter bonus, um, potentially even infinite, uh, but it's very expensive to get. Um, and then, you know, you can even do other things. Uh, there's like some extra productivity, extra lab speed, I believe. Um, if we search through here, here we go, here's some more, so you can get even more higher lab speed and stuff like that with these additional things. So how do you get this uh, new research? Well, uh, there's a few, few things. So. Um, there's obs observation satellites, and we have a new tab here with all these items. Um, so this observation satellite uh, essentially is going to uh, provide planetary data, um, which is, I believe, one of these researches, if I'm not mistaken. Um, well, there's station data. I think the other one was planetary data. Telescope data. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. This is very complicated. I spent like 30 minutes looking over this already, and there's a lot to it. Um, so if we look here, okay, so there we go. So space telescope is actually what I was looking for. Space telescope um, gives us uh, planetary data, right? Uh, and then one of these other guys, I think this observation one um, is going to give us um, going to give us the other science. Uh, now the space probe, this advanced probe, you can actually generate space science with. Uh, the advanced probe, uh, when their data is processed, each advanced space uh, advanced probe will give 10,000 space science. Um, so you can just launch these into space, and uh, they will slowly give you some space science. And then, of course, you can see there's some labs here, space labs, um, and such like that. So components and supplies for orbital stations. Uh, now, there's also, like, mining uh, that you can do several ways uh, with these autonomous space mining drones, uh, as well as these, uh, where, where are they? Uh, here we go. Fabricator shuttles as well. Um, so th these are basically designed to carry the space fabricator to its destination. And the space fabricator, um, is over he right here, I believe. Um, and these things, like I said, these things are extremely expensive. Uh, there's all these new items, which, you know, are made from vanilla items, but they're very expensive. Uh, in here, you know, so like the uh, 
these space mining drones, you know, there's some vanilla items there you can see, but then 50 satellite flight computers, 10 satellite radars, and just to look at this, I mean, the flight computer is, you know, 100 rocket control units, tons of wire, tons of combinators, uh, and then these things are, you know, fairly expensive as well, you know, plus there's all this other stuff, 30 satellite buses, uh, which each one of those is 200 low density structures and 50 electric engines. Um, and all that. So there's uh, that, and then you can collect those resources, I believe, with the uh, ground fabricator station. So this large structure contains the necessary equipment to rapidly process the dropships from our orbital fabricators that land in the central pad. It also sends out the power necessary for the orbital fabricator to work. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, uh, and then there's power as well. Uh, so the orbital satellite or orbital solar collector. Um, each one of these will provide 150 megawatts of power for ground stations to receive, um, right? However, it basically requires 150 megawatts of solar um, actually, like, to build it. Uh, so if you look at the satellite solar array, this guy here, uh, you know, it requires 250 of those, and each one takes 10 solar panels, uh, as well as other things. Uh, so th this kind of just... It doesn't necessarily save you resources, um, but it saves you space and effort of having to actually place thousands of solar panels, right? Uh, and then, you know, like, so some of these things are going to require, like, certain ways to launch them. Uh, so this guy, you can see rocket launch products um, is the space uh, satellite communications and such. Uh, it, it's... There's a lot to it. It would make more sense. It'll make a lot more sense if you start playing with it and generally like go through it as it's actually supposed to be like chronologically. Uh, one other thing I want to show you is the advanced assembler. So this adds a new assembler, which uh, can work both with the mod and vanilla items. It allows you to refurbish satellites um, because it will drop back down some of these uh, space shuttles or sorry, refurbish space shuttles, not satellites, um, and which will kind of save you some resources, right? It does take quite a long time, though. Uh, you can use this on vanilla items as well. It has a slightly faster crafting speed, um, as well, crafting speed of 2, uh, opposed to the 1.5 of a level 3 assembler. And it also has extra module slots. So if we look here, um, you can see it actually has two additional module slots in it as well. Um, and it's it's basically just an assembler, so you could, you know, beacon it and stuff if you wanted to. Uh, to make it, you know, really fast for vanilla stuff as well. Uh, but basically, this just adds a ton of in-game stuff. You know, research is different, uh, a few different, two types of sciences to get even higher levels of vanilla researches. Um, and then these ways to get additional resources from space. And uh, according to the mod portal here, uh, once you, you know, set up, set up enough of the space mining stuff, it, you wouldn't even necessarily have to mine um, on, on the main planet here. It would just generate enough resources for you that way. Uh, and then the power satellites, and uh, I believe one of these kind of acts as like a big radar as well. Uh, like I said, there is just so much to this. I've uh, <laughs> I looked through it um, and such, but there's just a lot to go through here. It's definitely worth giving a try though, guys. So uh, that's just an overview of the mod. Like I said, this spotlight's already kind of longer than normal, so if I were to go over every single thing and demonstrate every single thing, it would be like an hour video. Um, but uh, there you go. There's a link below to check it out, and like I said, there's a ton of info written up on the mod portal, and the desk seems quite active, so if you have questions or confusion, you can probably ask on there in the discussion section. Uh, but if you're looking for more in-game stuff uh, to do that's still kind of within Vanilla, you know, not like super crazy like Bob's mods or anything, um, then definitely worth checking this out. If you like SpaceX uh, mod, I think you will definitely enjoy this one too. So that's going to do it, guys. As always, thank you for watching. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed. Definitely check it out. I'm probably going to be looking into this further myself because I love uh, mods like this. Uh, I really enjoy SpaceX, so I will be looking into it as well. But until next time, I look forward to seeing you all, and do take care.